our dear friend, our buddy, Dr. Ian Smith. This is one doctor I never mind getting a checkup from. But today we have a really important message. We're gonna talk about lung health. The average person takes over 20,000 breaths in just one day. And I think we all take that largely for granted. Um, but imagine not being able to breathe if breathing was literally a burden to you. Today we are teaming up with our friends from the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, to talk about something we take for granted too often, our lung health. We're gonna show you guys everything you need to know from better breathing to hopefully quitting smoking if you still do. Absolutely, right? you know, and I gotta tell you, you know, this is a very personal segment for me. My grandmother had lung cancer and died and my uncle died recently of lung cancer. So this is a very personal segment. And you're a doctor, like you must take that as an extra burden, right? Absolutely, because it's so preventable, okay? Two things I dislike are cigarettes and sodas. I just, they're, they have no value to they it. They don't so, have value to society. So this society, segment is great. So right? let's, let's learn something about the lungs. Great. First of all, these are pig lungs that we're using here, just as a point of a demonstration. They're the closest that, to our lungs. We've dealt with these before. They're the closest to the human lung, Absolutely. correct? The purpose, one of the major purposes of the lung is to take oxygen from the air Breathe it in, put it inside of your blood, and your blood delivers it to the rest of your body because every cell in your body needs oxygen. Mm. But it also carries out bad things like carbon dioxide. So you breathe in oxygen, you breathe out carbon dioxide. Now, the interesting thing is that the lung for most of the day is only 50% full. So, you know, you're kind of walking around. If you're not, you know, exercising, it doesn't go full all the way. So let's demonstrate. Push it down. Totally inflated. That's inhalation. Then you breathe out. That's exhalation. It goes down. Now, typically, the lung is only full when you're doing deep breathing or you're exercising because you're gasping your breath. Most of the time, it's half, half full. But if you're working out, they, they oh, fill absolutely. up as you much need, as they can. You need to have it. You the need capacity, to have it. Right. Exactly. Now, the other thing that is important is that for good lung health, OK, there are three things that you can do, OK? The first thing is regular exercise, very important to keep moving. The next thing is hydration. So the hydration is important because your lung inside, the mucosal lining needs to be moist so it helps your lung health. The last thing is posture, actually. So we're gonna demonstrate with the audience posture. So you wanna sit back a little bit, okay? Because remember, your lungs are soft. This is very soft, and so your lungs only have room that your body allows it to have. So you breathe deeply, and then you open up your chest to give your lungs room to totally inhale. And that is a great exercise to do to make sure you're getting nice, Big, deep inhalation. We don't do that. Usually we're posh. Especially we're at the end over. of the day, you know, I try and remind myself of what my mother always taught me. Sure. Sit up. You're proud of yourself, are you? You That's stay right. up. Put your shoulders back. That's right. And remember, <laughs> by the way, yeah. And, 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 and for all of us, like all parts of our body, your lungs age. So they decline as we age. So we want to keep them being healthy by doing these things, these, these three things I mentioned.